Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Crusader Kings 2 The Old Gods. Shit's all sorts of crazy up here uh, in what is now the British Isles in a more hotly contested way than it started uh, at the beginning of the last episode, much less, you know, a few episodes ago when we had pretty much dominance. Uh, we have a very interesting situation on our hands, uh, namely, England has risen up, uh, so I guess those Anglo-Saxon kind of small petty kingdoms have merged into one major kingdom ruled by King Senwolf, which is just a dope-ass name. I can't even be mad at that guy. Um, there's also a weird kind of uh, thing here I've never seen before. Prepare invasion. That's interesting. I must have at least 1,000 prestige, more, no more than 40 holdings. No valid target kingdom. Uh, anyway, we'll talk about that later. For now, uh, the most important thing maybe is that I actually have to go to war. Even though I've been kind of partitioned here, uh, I, I really do need to go to war. Otherwise, I just continue to lose prestige. Now, keep in mind, uh, I am the heir to the Kingdom of Ireland. So I can get all this Irish land back simply by virtue of... Uh, like, killing my brother, which I'm trying to do here. But I can't get other people to join in on my plot, which is real silly to me. Uh, even if we got all of these people to join in on the plot, this wouldn't give us enough to, unfortunately, uh, follow through with it. So we're just gonna have to let time go on that to a certain extent. Let me slow things down a little bit. But, we have to invade somebody, otherwise we're gonna lose two prestige a month. What is going on in Gowry here? She's the High Priest, Bjorg of Strandfed Yorther. Um, you know what? Let's declare war on her. Oh, she's currently revolting against her liege. We, w we don't want to declare war on Ireland. That's, uh, fairly obvious, hopefully. Um... What's going on down here? Can I declare war on this dude? No, he is uh, fighting his own independent war, and also he's my vassal, so that doesn't seem that smart. Apparently I own this land right here. I'm trying to find like a small kingdom uh, that I can just declare war on. Uh, his liege is my brother, of course. Uh, like a small, uh, not even kingdom, like a duchy or something that I can declare war on in the hopes that I can uh, just go to battle without losing prestige. Is this guy revolting as well? Uh, we can't even declare war on him because he's not independent, his liege. Okay, well, we might as well declare war on this lady. Uh, even if she stops revolting, at least we'll stop our prestige loss for a while. So let's do a uh, de jure claim on Gowry. Uh, if we win, we gain the county of Gowry. Fantastic. We can do subjugation of Scotland as well, I guess, but I, I kind of want to save the uh, subjugation costless belly because you only get one of those every 10 years. Also, I'm not sure if we necessarily want to fight a substantial amount of war with her, but let's just go with Gowry for now. Just to get the prestige loss out of the way here. Okay, so now we have a, a fairly substantial force that we are fighting against, but it looks like it's fairly concentrated in one specific area. So if we can just get uh, all of our troops to kind of meet here, we should be able to take out their one army in one fell swoop, and uh, then crisis averted in all hopefulness. We can at least stop losing prestige. We've been losing prestige like crazy because I, I like married into an no ignoble house. Uh, you know, I, I had to lose prestige to not accept some calls to arms. My concubine is pregnant. That might be something we want to deal with, because, uh, the, the more kids we have, the worse. Unless we have a son now. That would actually be ideal for us. Merge the selected units. Can I even... I still can't get, like, Gavelkin or anything like that going on. Um, let's do our invasion here, and hopefully this will end up working for us. I really just want... I, I want the territory, uh, but more so, I just want to kind of... I, I'm still locked in, like, a death match apparently, with the the chief of this one land up here. Your experience in matters of war have increased? Or, yes, so, um, what will you focus on to give us an extra bonus? Sure, why not, uh, Lightfoot, so we'll become a Lightfoot leader. I'm not, I never really pay too much attention to those, which might be a silly mistake. England is becoming very quickly a, an asshole, uh, of a, a force here, which I'm not too happy about. Lothian, is that where we want to go? We're already at 18% war score here. We probably will have to win some sieges. It's a nice change of pace to be on the, like, heavily favored side uh, of, of a war. Uh, it feels good to be basically trouncing the enemy, uh, even if it is taking us. Are you going to go? You're going to fall back into England. That's really interesting. Uh, I'm, I should probably try to negotiate peace as soon as possible because uh, they might stop revolting against their leader soon, at which point I would not be able to actually get the land. So we'll just siege here and try to take the territory. Remember, I don't have to worry at all about what's going on on the right side of or the eastern side of Ireland here because I don't even own that land anymore. So, you know, by all means, if they want to get involved in some sieging there, go nuts, man. I don't own that land yet. Uh, hopefully, I, I just periodically checking back in here to see if there's anybody that wants in on our plan. Sif, why will Sif not join me? I, is it because I killed you in Dark Souls? She has some base reluctance. We've got a lot of gold, though. I wonder if we send her a gift. 
This will not increase her opinion of you. Okay, I'm still... Forgive me for taking some time here. Uh, but I want to make sure that I'm checking in on these guys just to see if they're, uh, they're, there's a chance that they'll be interested eventually. What is this guy? Oh, okay, he loves King Falky, so that's probably not likely to happen. I don't want to invest money in, like, anybody else. Yeah, he lo she loves King Falky as well. Um, let's just continue sieging then. You know, we'll fry one fish at a time. Right now, I'm just trying to, like, reunify Scotland because, like, let's be honest. We'll call this guy Northern Lion the Third. Uh, shit is crazy fucked up right now uh, in... Uh, Scotland and Ireland like the the borders are so bad and as someone who has a very very minor case of non-clinical OCD when it comes to these like non-contiguous borders this is nightmarish for me to have to deal with this absolute pardon me clusterfuck so uh, I don't feel too well I am ill dying right now would be a basically a catastrophic situation because uh, if we die uh, we're gonna become our zero year old son I believe he should be our heir now yeah, we'll become our zero-year-old son. And you know what? We should actually get rid of our concubine now, just so that we don't accidentally have another child. Because uh, one son is perfect here. Okay, we're alive again. Thank God. If we die randomly, we've got real problems. Helgi claims that he would be a better seer than Gefrude, and petitions that he should be given the title of king, uh, seer in the Kingdom of Scotland. What is his learning stat? 11? Okay. What is uh, Gudfrid's stat? Let me just click on him here. Uh, his stat is 9. You know what? You're right. He is my new seer. Fantastic. That's gonna piss the other dude off, as you might expect, but, uh, kind of a smart decision, I think, in this situation. England is freaking me out, because they must have a lot of troops to kind of continually, uh, push forward and upwards into this land that previously has been such a pain in the ass. Okay, so she's gonna surrender. We gain the county. We got some prestige. For once, I have actually won a war. That feels really good. Our, my vassals are pleased with me. Turns out that not everything is terrible anymore. So let's again lower our military forces better We should be building some provincial improvements by the way I haven't talked about those at all yet, but for now. I'm just mostly concerned with killing my own um, Brother here half-brother I guess and and in doing so uh, Before he actually gets an heir. No, I don't care about Bercy anymore. That guy's an asshole. How about this guy? I'm still his heir. His wife is not putting out for him. This is good for us uh, But I can't he's so fucking beloved I can't get anybody to join in on the plot here. What about this guy? I don't like him, but he sort of likes me. He loves King Falky. God damn it. Like, what is the, uh, this guy doing that I don't understand? Is, is there anything I can just do here randomly? We can, let's commission a runestone. Let's have some fun here. Uh, you've decided to commission a runestone and raise a grand runestone for future generations to gaze upon. Uh, what should be carved into it? It should stand in memory of my mother. It should stand in memory of my father or let it speak of me Let's raise it in uh, in honor of our dearly departed father here King Northern Lion the first We do have a Northern Lion the third kind of uh, you know around now uh, So it's totally possible that uh, he will be our ruler before too long because certainly King Northern Lion the second has had a very troubled rule so far uh, And I'm just letting time go by here. Uh, we can do some more intrigue stuff a little bit later maybe I, I don't know if we're ever going to be able to succeed on this plot. I wonder if I I have enough money to attempt an assassination, but the odds of it succeeding are so low. Let's just go here and take a look at it. Assassinate. We have a 12% chance of success. That's based on our state intrigue. Hmm. I wonder if there's any way to improve our state intrigue. I could kill my wife, uh, and then... Because the, the chances of killing our brother here are basically nil. Let's just let time go by for a while. Let's see what this runestone gives us. Uh, in memory of Northern Lion, the runestone you have commissioned has been finished and raised on the spot you chose for it. You examine the runes. This stone was raised by Northern Lion the second in memory of Northern Lion, his father and Blank's son. It says Blank because we uh, used ruler creator to create him. He was a caring father and husband and lived a good life. Ever will stand this memorial. That's very simple and quaint, but why not talk about the like tens of thousands of people that I killed uh, in, in conquering almost all of the British Isles. Anyway, we gain 200 prestige. We get a little extra diplomacy and general opinion. Fantastic. That's It, it leaves a good taste in everybody's mouth, doesn't it? Why is this guy mad? Army of Morian from the Peasant Revolt. That's not even a Peasant Revolt of mine, though. That's a Peasant Revolt in Ireland. Uh, could we declare war on some other territory here? We probably have a truce with her. Yes, that would cost us more prestige than I care to admit. What about Dublin? How's Dublin going here? Is he our vassal? No. He is a Norse Jarl. Um, I don't really want to declare war for subjugation of Ireland. He is not independent. This guy's independent, though. Uh, again, subjugation of Ireland is not what I want. Press all claims. Interesting. Do I really want this? I, yeah, you know what? I do. Unless this guy is... No, he's not independent. 
nor is... Is it the same dude? It is. Okay, so, you know, this, is, this seems like a reasonable territory. So let's declare war. Uh, we want to claim... Press all claims. What do we get if we win? The city and the temple. Sure. Fantastic. Uh, all of a sudden, there are now, like, 4,000 men that are angry at me. Uh, I'm not super fond of that, but this should still be all right. Uh, we're going to lose some men right off the top here just because of my poor army management, but we'll, we'll have enough to compensate for that regardless. So let's just fall back here. We are going to lose some battles, which is going to affect our war score in a negative way in all likelihood. Uh, in fact, you know, you 200 men should just stay right here. And why don't you meet up with these dudes here? Uh, and we'll have like two forces, one from the north and one from the south, uh, eventually. But as of right now, kind of my forces are getting the shit kicked out of them. That's okay. Uh, you fall back and we'll meet there. And then my 4,000 strong force should be strong enough to destroy them. And we're, we're amassing a little bit more territory again. It feels good to be on the offensive. Prince Tyke of Scotland is now of legal age. Is that like, yeah, he's my half-brother. I don't like that. Uh, let's merge up here. I haven't been doing as much editing recently, simply because, you know, shit's been so out of control. Uh, I don't I don't care about the Peasant Revolt. As far as I'm concerned, the Peasant Revolt can destroy their whole country, and I would be just pleased with it. So let's instead just attack Ulster, which is, as far as I know, the only, like, fighting force in the area. Uh, so if I kill them, then there shouldn't be too much stopping me. No, I will not do the call to arms. I don't care if it costs me 100 prestige. Um, we have captured a mayor. I wonder if I can make him, like, force him to be part of my plot now. Oh, you know what? This guy, Sif, is actually in on our plot now. We might be able to kill him uh, once we get a little bit more uh, in our favor. So we got 5,000 men. Luckily, no attrition, so I'm not even going to bother talking about it. Uh, we might be up. We're up to 76%. We really only need two people not willing to join the plot. Why? Her opinion of me is not great. I wonder if I could send her a gift, and that'll improve her opinion. And she still says no, but she's so close. So close. Um, what about Egbert? Egbert, why, why doesn't he like me? Oh, he's got way too much uh, positivity for his friend. What about... Uh, okay, not even close there either. But we're getting closer, you have to admit. Uh, we're at 78%. This is all for the... In all likelihood, we're going to fail this regardless. I've discovered a plot where Hierophant Sigrid of Scotland seeks to kill Prince Freyar of Scotland. Oh, well, my wife apparently wants to kill my own son. Uh, I'm going to imprison her here. That makes her kind of an asshole. And now we can probably uh, just murder her, which is maybe in my best interest. Why are we, like, not why, more like how are we still at 0% war score? Uh, I don't even want to fight those peasants because, uh, you know, the more effed up things go in Ireland, the better it is for me overall. We're going to try to amass some territory here and at least uh, put it under the control of my vassals. What's going on? You're using your foot as leverage. You pull your sword out of the dead corpse of the last foeman to fall in battle. All around you, the men are cheering. Victory has been achieved in large part thanks to your heroic efforts. Sweet! We got uh, 100 prestige. I don't know why it has our uh, half-brother here. I, I got excited at first because I thought we actually murdered our half-brother, uh, which would have been crazy good for us. But, uh, you know, as is, it's still okay that we got 100 prestige basically for free. We'll just start sieging this territory here, and there should be basically nothing that they can do to stop me. So we're slowly amassing a little bit more, uh, a little bit more territory here. It's definitely been on the upswing uh, versus how things have gone, you know, more recently. So just checking in here to see if anybody else wants to be part of this plot. Apparently not. Uh, let's just let some time go on. I, I can't really bribe these people any more than I already have. I've been just throwing money at them. We might even want to take that one in eight chance of just not having to do any more wars. Of course, the problem is that uh, the one in eight chance, of course, being the uh, the chance of assassinating him successfully without being found out. Um, it, it's not a bad chance. Of, it's a dice roll, basically, uh, to see if we can just not have to deal with any succession crises here. We gained a stewardship. That's awesome. That'll help us eventually get a larger realm size. Uh, which is important for amassing more money in the future. We have gotten a successful siege here. And again, it, it might it looks like everyone's angry at me, but don't fear too much. It's mostly uh, this Clyde's Dalish Peasant Revolt, which is actually not going after me. It's just trying to gain independence for the county of Clydesdale, which I don't own anymore, even though I used to. Okay, what do you want? We have peace from Jedward. Um, we gain the city of Caven and the Temple of Kells. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, and she has invited me to call to arms from Meyer Banana Dong. No, thank you. We'll decline that. Uh, and our domain size is too big. We should give away a Jarldom if we can, because otherwise our vassals are going to get pissed at us. So let's just look at our court. Uh, we're going to look for some unmarried dudes. What about you? Tyke Banana Dong. No, he's my half-brother. Bad idea. My son. Can we give him? Uh, we can give him a landed title. We don't have any Jarldoms to give away. So uh, why don't we give him the County of Gowrie? 
Is this a good idea? Maybe. Let's give him another one just to make sure he's pleased with us. We can take the Temple of Kells. Oh, we don't want to give him... Uh, let's give him the City of Caven instead. Okay, good. So our domain size is fine now. What titles can we usurp? Jarldom? Okay. Doesn't really interest me all that much, I suppose. And I'm just... I'm being very cautious with my wars right now because I don't necessarily want to get engaged in too many of them at once. Um, I'm still trying to decide how we're going to deal with our half-brother here, because we can't, like, invite anybody else to come in on this plot. They, they all love their king too much. Maybe we should just go for the assassination. It's such a long shot, though. It, it seems like a waste of 300 gold, basically. Oh, sorry, that's that's old me. How old was he? He was 65 when he died. Okay. So, King Falky, how you doing? He has an heir now! I don't like that. Maybe we can kill his heir? No, no valid plots. I... I don't know what to do, man. We, we had to fight a war with King Falky here. I really don't want to do that, though. Um, but, you know, maybe we should just go try to blow this whole thing up right now. I've got money. Do I have forces? I've... Decently. Let's let's wait until... One year from today. July of 9, 923. And then we will fight a substantial war uh, against Ireland to try to conquer the whole thing for us. And then we'll give it to our son and spread it amongst our vassals. Uh, this is basically... The Hail Mary pass of, of this game here. It, it could be great. It could be awful. Um, it, it's, I guess, accurate to the Middle Ages as we are going to war with our own. Why? What, the peasants are fighting me now? You're not supposed to fight me anymore. You're supposed to be fighting the other dudes. Cumberlander peasant revolts. You're supposed to be fighting the Irish. I don't want this to happen. Well, it's going to be July soon enough. You know what we should do, actually, is maybe raise... Uh, enough forces to take them out and then uh let's just have you guys meet up here so we, we, we obviously want to deal with this before uh we actually go to war no declined uh, i actually probably should have accepted that considering i'm just about to go to this war regardless so it, it, we're gonna slow it down a little bit is the war over yet i kind of don't understand what just happened there uh but most of their troops are gone so let's just Again, slow it down just a little bit. If we can take out this peasant revolt, I'll be a little bit happier. I don't understand how we got this territory here. Uh, sure, he's my new marshal. I'm not even checking anymore, which is a very silly decision, all told. But um, please tell me that at some point I'm going to be able to stop this peasant revolt. That didn't even attack them. Why not? Um, I've got to remember not to disband my armies in enemy lands. Okay, so first things first. Uh, you come back up here into Scotland, and then we're gonna wait for like another year. We're gonna wait until January of 925, and then we'll do this uh, invasion. Oh, we've uh, sieged some distrust, but that isn't valuable for us. Oh my god. What happened to King Falky? Queen Ileana of Ireland? Am I her heir? What the heck is. Okay, now very few people are probably gonna be in to help me murder this child, but I must have missed something happening up here. Uh, Falky is not... Falky is dead! How did that happen? This is some messed up stuff. Okay, this is... Is this my territory? No, I don't know. You just come back up here to Scotland for a second and then we'll disband you and we'll look at what the hell's going on here. Uh, because this is weird. I guess our half-brother has died. He wasn't as lucky as we were in life. Uh, so now we can try to kill his daughter. We have 19% uh, plot power right now. This guy's gonna be in. Why are these people not in? Base reluctance. I have money. Who's got a lot of power in this situation? The enemy spy master should. Why does he not like it? Okay, he likes Queen Ileana, but he's amoral. So what is that? That's five down, three up. Hmm. He, he already likes us, though. How about this guy? Is he closer? No, not even. I wonder what our odds of just assassinating her would be. 11% chance for 350 gold. That's so bad. Let's, again, we'll wait until January 925. Our king, how old is he? 52. He's getting old up there, man. Um, but we shouldn't have a succession crisis because he only has one son. So January 925, we're going to launch the all-out war to conquer Ireland here and at least reclaim uh, what is rightfully ours. Okay, so Ireland is now not at war anymore. Uh, beautiful. So all of this it means I can I should be able to take it right away. Oh my god, that is one hell of a peasant revolt. Here we go. A new discovery. New land has been sighted across the sea to the west of Iceland. While sailing from Reykjavik to Norway, Gunnbjorn Ulfsson and his crew were blown off course and came across several scaries. 
lying off the coast of a much larger island, probably a new continent. While Gunbjorn did not go ashore, the land seems to be unclaimed and unsettled. Sailors in Iceland have vowed to go investigate the discovery further. Cool, so that's like the discovery of the new world. If you're... Who's this guy now? King of Ireland? What, what is going on here? Now, like, there's been a huge succession crisis in Ireland, apparently. No, I don't want to kill the princess anymore. I want to kill the king. What are our odds there? Um, no valid plots. Bullshit, no valid plots. Let's kill King Dickbag of Ireland. Why can I not select this? Maybe we have to cancel this one first? Yes. Uh, click to choose a plot. Kill King Dickbag of Ireland. We got 29%. Now, how, how do people feel about this one? You know what? We actually do have kind of a sizable contingent of people that want this man dead. We are his heir as well, I think. I should probably check that. Yes, okay. So, I don't know what the fuck is going on in Ireland right now, but I'm pleased and it, it, it only benefits me as long as things continue to be messed up. I kind of apologize that we've been kind of at war with this situation for so long. By the way, I'm declining all this shit. As long as he's dealing with multiple wars at the same time, I'm a happy camper. Uh, but... You know that this is Crusader Kings, it kind of has to be done. Once we get over this, maybe we can have a few years of just fighting the English, and then life will be good. Uh, and it is, I know it's February of 925 right now, but just never fear. We're just letting some time go here to get the, the plots all set in motion. Because if we can kill him without going to war, that benefits us uh, in the long run. We're at 59%. We just gotta, we gotta get like one extra person in on this. I've already asked, we're at 96%. Is there one more person that was in? Also, England getting scary strong here. What, we just need one more person with like a little, a little bit of good feeling here. Okay, this guy. Ake, the courtier in Ireland. Send him a gift. He's going to love us for it. Invite the plot? Yes. Okay. Is he in? He's in. Okay, what is our plot power now? 101. I would like to get it a little bit higher, to be honest with you. Um, who has some more plot power here? He's got 91. Never going to happen. 22. I'm just, like, looking at the pluses and minuses and seeing if we have a chance. Probably not. Um, fairly close, but, um, probably not. We want more pluses than minuses. You know, it's fairly close, but probably not. Fairly close, but probably not. Um, again, you don't need me to say it for, like, the 10th time. Maybe this is okay. You know, we got 101%. That means we should at least have a chance at it. Uh, let's... Do we really want to go to war with him now is the real question. Is this our daughter? Yes, we'll educate our own daughter so that we can control her traits. Uh, and if we get out of this, it's it's largely pure luck. Um, sure, yes, this is us. Uh, and we have a title that can be usurped. Not a big deal. And we can press some weak claims. We have to go to war. Do I really want to go to war with Ireland? We're gonna. You're going to hate me for this. We're going to wait one more year on five speed. And we are going to adopt this guy's ideas to improve our technology. Or uh, economic technology. We're going to wait one more year. Let's say May of 926, and we're going to see if this assassination attempt goes through. And I'm going to periodically check uh, just to see if we can add more people to the plot. As long as the plot thickens, that's good for me. Christina has died a natural death. There is a dangerous faction. Independence for who? Who's this guy? I really don't want to fight ten civil wars at once. Independence for that? You know what? I got bigger fish to fry right now. Congratulations, you're independent. I'd rather not deal with your shit. Enjoy being the independent nation of Somerset for like the next 10 minutes until someone takes you over. You piece of garbage. Okay, I could have protected you, but no, you asked for this. Uh, and I'm just kind of randomly uh, leveling stuff up here because I don't know what I'm doing. And we're waiting until May 926. If no assassination has gone down, then we're just going to declare war. Still, nobody else wants in. Is, is she any closer? Um, you know what? We have enough gold that I kind of just feel like, first off, let's send her a gift, see if she loves it enough to come in on the plot. No, but she's closer. She's only a little bit away. What if we arrange a marriage between her and uh, our son? He's going to lose prestige, but she's going to love it. Let's let some time go by here. Uh, now, I can't invite her to my plot because she's in my court. I'm an idiot. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm a big dummy. Uh... Maybe I should have done, like, a matrilineal marriage there? I don't know. Because then he has to be in, like, the enemy court, I guess. Uh, I don't even know what's going on here, but the Irish forces are getting their shit rocked by this peasant revolt. Which I'm totally happy about. Uh, it's May! We sadly have not had uh, an assassination attempt yet. So I would say, uh, 623 gold. How close are these people? I know I'm beating around the bush here, I'm stalling, but I think this is a, a good idea. Political concerns, no, it's still not close enough. Not close enough, not close enough. There's like nobody that's close to agreeing to kill their own king here. 
What's up with that, right? Okay, so this guy's... He's, he's definitely not in. What if we arrange a marriage between him and uh, another lady in our court? He's super into that. Let's let some time go by. I'm basically bribing these people. Uh, does he want to come into our plot now? No, of course not. For largely the same reasons. What if we send him a gift? We'll see. He's the Chancellor of Ireland. Interesting. That explains why he has so much plot power. Uh, invite him to the plot now? No, but he does love us. We can't send him another gift yet. What can we do to make his life better? Um, we can invite him to our court. I don't want to do that, though. Okay, we're losing prestige. I, it, it's July. I should go to war with Ireland. I hate to do this because we're so close to being able to ha have an assassination here, but we might as well. Uh, so Ireland, where is the seat of power? That's the Jarl. Is that our brother? I can't remember. This might be a terrible idea. This is, the, like I said, the Hail Mary. <laughs> Attacking an ally would cost 50 prestige. No big deal. Can we do, like, subjugation of Ireland? Yes. Okay. Subjugation of Wales. Okay, we'll do subjugation of Ireland. Uh... Is there anything else? Like, I could do press all claims. What do I... Oh my god, look at what I get if I win this. That's crazy. We gotta at least go for it. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, we're gonna be in a, a major, major war here. Uh, I will almost certainly want to hire mercenaries. How many troops do I have versus his troops? I don't know. Um, these 100 men are basically just dead in the water. Oh, they're actually gonna make it out. That is silly that he let that happen. Okay. So we gotta beat this guy down, there's no question about that. Um, he's got so many peasant revolts to deal with that I'm actually not that concerned, believe it or not. Uh, first things first, we're gonna go try to destroy this army. Uh, we just gained one stewardship, that's fine. Uh, because we have a couple of forces up here, we should probably deal with them first. Oh, here we go! We might actually be able to kill him, and if we kill him, the war will just end, which is great. Uh, so my co-conspirator, Archpriest Rong... Uh, please, give, forgive me for that one. Has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush the king. And the disguised as highwaymen, I am assured he will not survive the he will not survive the encounter. Let's hope so. Uh, yes, it worked. I can't believe it. We it, it took us two episodes, but look at this. Yes, we it's success. But anyway, the, people knew that it happened. But look at what we did. We have now taken over it, all of the land that we had before that we had previously lost. So this is actually amazing. This is actually really, really good. I can't believe that this intrigue has actually worked out for us. It took a long time. We ended up giving up some land as a result. But man, things are certainly a lot better uh, now than they were 15 minutes ago. There's no question about that. So we're just gonna... We're playing on fast speed here. I just want to end these peasant revolts. Uh, we've already, we've seen the, that before. So I'm just gonna hope that we don't uh, get... That is a sweet coat of arms there, by the way. Clydesdale. Um, get in here and help these peasant revolts. Oh my god, things are going too, too fast here. Slow down just a little bit. Uh, where are you going? You going to Argyll? I, I realize I could actually make this, I, I could figure out where they're going, but that's a smart decision. Okay, so they're going to be basically wiped out. We got 65%. Will he acquiesce to our demands? No. I want to imprison him just to make sure that he doesn't try anything funny again. Uh, we should be dealing with this other one as well, but this other, uh, uh, peasant revolt. But remember, we inherited these peasant revolts, but we're certainly going to make sure that they end as well. So there's, uh, one done. Offer peace, enforce demands. And finally, we can create some titles as well. What is this title? The Duchy of Dublin. Seems like a smart idea, because remember, uh, creating these titles does give you more troops. Oh, and now we can... Our, our king's ancient in, the, like, 927 terms. He's 55 years old. That's not good. Uh, my prisoner is... My prisoner! King Candido of England. We have the King of England in our jail? How does the... The Italian King of England... I don't even know... You know what? Let him rot for now. But... Can I just take over his land? Does he not even have an heir? Oh, the queen is actually the leader of England. This is some weird stuff going on here. Okay, let him rot for now. I bet he has a huge ransom. Let's check in on that. King of England, Candido. Ransom prisoner, 10 gold. You think I'm going to ransom the king of England for 10 gold? That's uh, unlikely, shall we say. Uh, I'm going to merge you in here. I guess, you know, the king of Ireland captured the king of England at some point. Very surprising, I would say. Oh, we... Just barely miss them there. There we go. We actually are going to be able to get at war with them here. 30% war score already. I believe it or not, we are going to be able to um, pull this out of our ass. King Northern Lion, the Blessed, was wounded in the thick of battle. I don't like that. This is amazing because we only have one heir. That is crazy good luck. Uh, so if our guy dies, doesn't matter. Uh, our... our son will inherit all of this, and there shouldn't be as major of a succession crisis because we only have one kid. Holy shit, okay. Military. 
lower your arms for now. We are going to have a huge standing military that hopefully we'll be able to use to take over some of these unpronounceable kingdoms. England has split itself up as, uh, I guess it is wont to do. Just want to take a quick look around Europe here just to see what else is going on. Hungary has now uh, expanded again. Not as big as it used to be, but certainly pushing back substantially. Uh, you know, Sweden and Denmark going to town, I guess. Nothing too, too major seems to have happened except for the breakup of England here. Last thing we're going to do, create the Duchy of Dublin. Seems like a smart idea. And... Jesus, I guess we'll just decide what to do on the next episode now, because we're going to have a fairly substantial fighting force. I think it makes sense to try to take over these uh, small areas here. These guys won't accept vassalization because we have false religion. Okay, well, prepare to accept that false religion pretty soon uh, as I usurp you, basically. But, man, amazingly, I really thought that last episode or this episode would be the end of the Northern Lion family in Crusader Kings 2, but actually we've managed to kind of pull everything together and our kingdom looks stronger than it's been in a long, long time. So thanks for watching. I know that things looked really dire for a while, but in the last 15 minutes, uh, through basically a string of good luck and maybe one shrewd play, Scotland is now united again. So as always, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I appreciate any support you guys can give it and I will see you next time.